my goodness. Welcome back to the show. I'm so happy you came back, buddy. Uh, congrats on everything, uh, on winning a Grammy Award. Come on, that's big time. Come on. Well deserved. Well deserved. Best rap performance. Can you tell everybody where you were when you found out that you won the Grammy? I was in the hospital, actually. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was in the uh, urgent care with my son. He woke up. And it was, he had like a really stuffy nose. And like, you know, we, he's like our only boy, like our oldest boy. Yeah. And every little thing that happens, we're like, okay, straight to the emergency. Let's just go here, whatever yeah. it is, yeah. And uh, he was just like, are you okay? And we just took him straight there. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm not going to the Grammys. And then uh, we went straight to the hospital, and the doctor was like, yeah, he's fine. You know, just, you know, we maybe, just cleared his throat, that's yeah, all. That's yeah, it. maybe <laughs> just put a shirt on him, he's good, you know. And uh, I was like, you still want to go? Just take pictures? Go, you know, maybe take a little photo op. He's like, yeah, let's do it. So we got dressed, went straight there, really? bought a bunch of Samoa cookies from the Girl Scouts, and we just like, Because you were leaving crazy. the urgent care? Yes, yes. And you were like, we're off to the Grammys? When I win, everyone wins. It's like, <laughs> we went straight there. I love that. just bought a bunch of cookies. When I win, everyone crazy. wins. But yeah. this, how cool is your kid, though? He's I, the coolest Grammy. Yeah, I mean, he really actually might be the coolest the kid I've ever seen in my life. Best Grammy photo in the world. Come on, man. Look at that dude. Look at that kid, man. Come on. I mean, that is so rad. That's so fun. Uh, congratulations on uh, Oxnard, too. This is, uh, uh, this is uh, critically uh, rave reviews. Uh, uh, you got to work with Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. I mean, that must be a dream come true, Dr. Dre. Did you, you always dream of working with him? I thought it was a little far-fetched growing up. But really? We always used to listen to him. Snoop, Dre, Ice Cube. This is like a part of our musical DNA. But everything so, he does, he's like a perfectionist. I'm a giant fan of Dr. Dre. Yeah, it's both of us are perfectionists, so it's really frustrating sometimes, this, the sessions. <laughs> yeah, you guys getting together? Yes. Do you ever butt heads? Absolutely. Really? Yes, his head is bigger than mine, too, so it's just like... <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. he's bigger, so it's like, all right, Dre. Yeah, Sounds exactly, yeah. good to me. And, yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm <laughs> But um, no, we just we 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 have the, the same taste, you know, similar things. And, and you ever heard him do uh, Mr. Postman when he mixed Mr. Postman back when he was he DJ? He refuses to do that. Every time I bring it up, he's like, "Hey, nah, AP." I don't uh, do that anymore. That's, no the, old, that's the, the old. Oh, it's unbelievable! The thing, oh, it's the, the most amazing. The doctor suit. Oh, it's the we greatest gotta, we gotta thing ever. We gotta get him to rock that again. Man. Oh, it was just such a cool thing, and I love that song. I was like, oh yeah, but you could tell he was doing it at such a time when. No one knew what he was doing, but everyone in the crowd, because he's just DJing, mm. and everyone in the crowd, instead of dancing, they're just standing there staring at him. Like, yep. what is this? Like, like what a, are you doing? It's like a full sequence doctor outfit. It's different than how he dresses now. Oh, yeah, sure. it's a different doctor. Yeah. He was actually yeah. a doctor then. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. This is a, uh, do, you, do you got anything coming up that you want to tease uh, while you're on the show? I mean, I made a lot of music with Dr. Dre, like probably two albums worth. And honestly, like, it's a... Uh, it's like music that I really feel like getting out. Oxnard was a beautiful place where like I got a lot of grit and I, you know, I was doing a lot of rapping and growing up there we were running from security guards in the mall and slap boxing and we wanted to be rappers and, and you know, do a lot of stuff. And uh, we also went to church. I went to church a lot. <laughs> and uh, the town over, you know, it was a little more quiet, more peaceful. Uh, I got into trouble out there too, but it gave me a lot more character and soul. And you know, I think I got more soul music to to present. You guys like soul music still? Yeah. yeah. A little soul music. It's lots of soul. A bigger tour. Really? And the best teeth in the game. Okay? Oh, absolutely! The best teeth in the game, guys. Anderson Pack. Uh, uh -huh. so